Good morning. Good morning, mate. So I'm assuming you're going to tell us nobody needs to go on a diet anyway. Um, the diet as it is, restrictive, you know, and, and glamorising thinness, yes. No one needs to be because we all come in different shapes, you know, like shapes and sizes, and we all need to um, celebrate our bodies and look after our health. But eating the uh, healthy, correct diet, yes, everybody needs to do that and look after their health. But if you're overweight... You know, uh, that is the point. No, Over what weight? You see, they they got these uh, schemes and these uh, um, uh, insurance companies uh, lists of uh, guidelines of what weight uh, people should be at, and uh, uh, it is not correct. No, but if you're, 30, BMI, well, if you're 33 stone, then clearly you've got a problem, and it, that isn't going to be good for your health, is it? And that's what they teach people. You see, that's the problem. 33 it, stone. It, 33 stone. They must have an underlying. Control. Condition. They must have something else. They must have an eating disorder, maybe, which is a binge eating. Uh, that's psychological. Or they must have other things that are leading their body to pile on the weight. So instead of pushing everybody to losing weight, let's uh, investigate. So that's the problem. You see, the thin people, they're being scared. If you put on weight, you're fatty and you hate it. And the fat people, uh, we just don't look at uh, the underlying conditions and we put them on diet or now that we mutilate their bodies and cut their stomachs because because that's it, apparently it's, pre it's um, uh, preventive and it is uh, the best solution, which it isn't. So are you a larger lady, Fatima? I am a large lady, yes. Do you want to tell and me... And I've been on a diet for millions of years and put the weight back on. It's not because I overeat, it's because my body doesn't uh, uh, like to be uh, restricted. But you, uh, you would like to be slimmer, Fatima? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I'd like to be healthy. I'd like to have a, a life and be active and, 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 and especially not be discriminated against and stigmatised. Would you like to tell me uh, your, your current I'm weight? I'm 18 stone. 18. And, and this is like, oh my God, I mean, she's a huge... Is, is she, <laughs> I mean, man, I mean, these people on a 5'2", and these people on, on these little uh, uh, apples and, and uh, Coke, tomorrow they'll put the weight on again, and they'll go on and on and on, and they become the 50 and 60 stone. But you would like to be slimmer, wouldn't you? you no, would, you would no, really. no. Why? It's because they glamorise. You see, society tells you, if if you are slim, you have success. People think that if they lose weight, they're going to... I mean, well, if they're 65, they're going to be uh, 20, which is not true. If you uh, lose weight, you're going to get a husband. If you lose weight, you're going to get a better job. All these things are true. It, well, yes, because it is discrimination. Let's change uh, the paradigm. It is discrimination. You, I mean, you, when you have a, these song, singing contests and you have a fatty who's brilliant, you're surprised. How come <laughs> something like that comes out of something like that. So you are not worried about your health? I'm not worried about my health at all. And your doctor I, isn't worried about your health? Uh, my, my doctor is, is uh, trained by people who are pushing for these preventive things and he would rather that I lost weight. But at my age, I'd rather be healthy. I'd like to be healthy. You see, that's the big difference between thin and healthy. Eating healthy, eating a, a, a variety and a varied diet of things that are healthy, nutritious to your body. How old are you, Fatima? I'm almost 63. And, and would you like to live for a long time? Uh, I mean, whatever. I mean, we can't decide. I'd like to live whatever left for my, no, for but my we're, age. We're told, we're told that if you're overweight, yes, of course we it's going to cut your the length Mike, of your life. Mike, I've been told this since I was about, like, 15. And you don't believe it? I don't believe them. But surely because the facts, I lose the, the weight and the facts bear that out there. No, if I lose the weight and the weight comes back on, if it weren't for me looking after my health and not hating my body because listening to them, you know, where you've got an ugly body and you're ugly and you're good and and you I, I would have uh, got into a binge eating and and started to damage my body okay. by going on dieting up and down up and down up and down all the time just to be thin. Fatima. We have to change from thin to healthy. Thank you, Fatima. You're welcome. Mike. Thank you for that conversation. Thank Fatima Parker.